Good day, it's Konstantin. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the different ways you can activate a plugin. There is not one way of doing it, and it depends on the software and the company. For some, you only need a serial number, which will, you will input once you open the plugin in your DAW. For others, you need an internet connection to connect the company's server and activate your software, and some require a dongle, with the most famous uh, one being the iLock. If you are on Pro Tools, you know about it as you can't use it without it. Now let's install the first plugin. It's one of my favorite plugins, the XLN Audio RC20. Actually, we do not need Logic, so I'm going to quit Logic. First thing you need to do is to go to their website and then click on register and set up an account. Or in my case, I need to go to login because I've already done that. Should be here, yes. So login, I don't want that. So once you do, you go to my account. And then if you haven't bought the software from the excellent website, then you need to click on the register product key to input the serial number. Actually, it will also tell you that. So enter the product key if you have not bought it from the XLN store. So once you do that, or if you bought from the website, then you go up here to installation guide. And then you need to download the XLN online installer. So let's do that. So let's install it. And once you do, it'll ask you to register or log in. It's the same account as the one we've used in their website. So let's do that. I usually go with standard. Actually, let's make this one a bit bigger. That's fine. So once you do, once you log in, a list of all the available products that you have and you have bought and registered on their website will be available here. So choose the ones that you want and install them. So in this case, I want the RC20. So I'm going to click on it, click to start install. Uh, the ones you can, it's just this tick here. So the ones you don't want, just untick them. So addictive FX, I click to start, start. And that's it. Now, now that I'll open Logic, it will scan for new plugins and RC20 will be on the list of my available plugins. Actually, let's look at that. Updating information, scanning for audio units, that it does that every time you install something new. And if we go to audio effects now, excellent audio, RC20 is now available in our DAW. Okay, let's quit Logic now. Let's quit that as well and that. And let's look at something that requires an iLock. So let's install something from SSL. Everything from SSL requires that you put the license on the iLock and keep it plugged in while you're using the software. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the iLock website and download the uh, license manager. So iLock.com, you do not need to sign in here, just simply, this is the home page, simply just download the one for your system. So Mac OS, let's download that. Desktop is fine. So once that's downloaded, we need to install it. Now, once that is done, open the software and sign in. So, Launchpad, iLog. You obviously need to have your iLog connected. So, click on the sign in and put your details. Right, that's it. Now, you've got your available. Uh, licenses here. So once that's done, now you need to go to the website and download the installation file from wherever you bought the software. 
So usually it's from the manufacturer's website. In my case, it's not because I bought it on Black Friday. So download the installation file, usually for SSL, it's from the SSL website, and install that. So let's do that. Let's do the EQ. So that is done now. It is installed. Now what we need is to go to the website you bought from and copy the activation code. So I've already, I already have that one. So once you copy the code, then you need to open the iLock Manager. Then you need to click on this little icon up here. Can I make this one bigger? Doesn't change anything. So click on this icon here to bring up the activation code window and then paste the activation code from the website. Then click on next. Select an activation location. I select my name, redeem. It updates. You will get this window. The activation code was successfully redeemed. Go to OK and then select the one that you want. So this is the one we have used now. It says zero of two activations used. So we need to grab that one and click and drag to the location we want it. So I want in this specific computer that I, that I have. So I will click it here, confirm activation. I will press OK. It will update and will say one of two activations used. So you want to say that if it's at zero, it won't be available when you open your DAW. Just click and drag to your computer. And the thing with iLock is that if you want to transfer it to another computer, you need to use the computer you initially installed it, deactivate it from there, and then activate it to the other computer. Because as you can see, you have limited uh, activations. So once that is done, I can close that. I can go back to Logic. And check and see if everything is all right. So SSL. And now I also have the EQ installed in my DW. Okay, let's quit Logic again. Do not save. And lastly, let's look at something from uh, Plugin Alliance. Let's install my favorite transit designer. Now, as before, you need to download their installation manager. So you need to go to their website and uh, then go to installation. Then go down here and select the one that you want for your system. So we are going with Mac. Oh, we need to log in. Okay. Now we can download it. Desktop is fine. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Let me delete some of these. So let's install that. Let's open up the Plugin Alliance installation manager. Accept. Log in. Right, so once this comes up, you will have a list of all the available plugins you have. So, and all the systems. So if you have a Mac uh, M1, you need to choose that one. Now here you can choose which ones you want. So if you're using Pro Tools, you need to have uh, AAX ticked. If you're using like any of the other DAWs, you need the VST ones. So I do not need that one. And the one we want is the SPL. It is the Transit Designer Plus. Download and install. And once that's done, you can exit and that's it. Right, so let's open Logic and check if everything's all right, because I think you need to actually log into the server as well. So you need to react, redo the thing here. So Plugin Alliance, it's here. And it needs an activation to require. Activation required. So yes, select your computer. I am online. Log in here and then click on activate. That's it. And now that is available in our system. 
Now lastly, let me mention that there might be another way to install a plugin. It depends on the manufacturer, but each brand has its own way. But more or less, the concept will be very close to the, these three installations that we have tried. So, until next time.